The following error occurs when fuse number one is blown. 1. SR, VO, 58, FSSB1 initialization error. Communication was interrupted between the main board and servo amplifier. 2. SR, VO, 223 DSP, dry run. Servo system initialization was stopped because of a hardware failure or improver software setting. The controller has been started in the DSP dry run mode. Controller type R, 30, IA. The servo and part number is here. Part number is, A208, 21010230034C. The fuse group. Turn power off. The fuse group. Pull out the broken fuse. The fuse number one is blown. Fuse number two. Fuse number three. Insert a new fuse. Turn power on. Done. But, if the same problem persists, please do the following. 1. Check whether fuse F4 in the power supply unit has blown. If the fuse has blown, check and correct the cause then replace the fuse. Fuse 4. 2. Check whether fuse FS1 on the 6-axis servo amplifier has blown. If the fuse has blown, replace the servo amplifier including the fuse. Fuse number 1. 3. Turn the power off and disconnect the CRF8 connector on the 6-axis amp, then check whether this alarm occurs again. Ignore the alarm SR, VO, 068 because of disconnecting the CRF8 connector. If this alarm does not occur, the robot connection cable RP1, or the internal cable of the robot pulse, coder, cable, may be short-circuited to the ground. Check the cables and replace them, if necessary. CRF8 connector. 4. Check whether the lead P5 volts and P3.3 volts on the 6 axis servo amplifier is lit. If they are not lit, the DC power is not supplied to the servo amplifier. Make sure the connector CP5 on the power supply unit and the connector CX to be on the 6 axis servo amplifier are connected tightly. If they are connected tightly, Replace the 6-axis servo amplifier, CP5. 5. Check the optical fiber cable between the axis control card on the main, board, and the servo amplifier. Replace it if it is faulty. Fiber cables. 6. Replace the axis control card on the main board. Axis control card. 7. Replaced the 6-axis servo amplifier. Servo imp. I hope this video was helpful.